everybody welcome again thank you for joining me the topic for today is starting a business your why and your motivation your why what is your reason for wanting to start a business you must have a strong reason for wanting to start a business before you start the business this must be clear to you your reason for wanting to start a business because it is this reason if it is strong enough that will hold you true out the trials the temptations the problems the issues that will come up during the business and when this reason is very strong it is clear then you are able to overcome because you will be focused there's a saying that goes by never start a business just to make money making money will be one of the reasons of starting a business but it cannot be the only reason for starting a business because you might not make money in the first months it might be in the second year you start making money so never start a business just to make money start a business to make a difference so be clear with your reasons before you start a business that may sound very obvious however you must just be clear when you turn your back on the security of having a job and a career for the certainty of starting a business you need to be ready and certain i have a friend who we were, we were talking about two months ago during this coronavirus period and you know uh, in a in a whatsapp group and um we just someone just texted and said ah, how is everybody doing and everybody you know contributed and he said well i am enjoying myself doing not nothing for getting paid that is the security of having a job even when you're not working sometimes you get paid however when you start your own business you don't get paid when you're not working so you have to be clear your why has to be very strong and be clear for starting a business. You need to be exactly sure of your reasons and of the, of the reasons why you want to start a business. And when you are sure, there's a certainty of achieving your goal. So what is your motivation why do you want to start a business now there are a lot of reasons why people want to start a business and i'm going to just go through some here it might be because you want to set a goal for yourself you get to set the rules. You get to control things. Sell how you want to sell. You want to sell online, you want to sell in person. It's your call. However, you want to sell. It might be because you want to pursue your passion. It might be because you want to meet new people. It might be because you want to work your own hours 
Flex the flexibility of having your own business is that you can work your own hours. It might be because you want to be able to set your own deadlines. Nobody is pushing you. Nobody is saying you must do it within this time. You do it when it is convenient for you. You might do it at night, in the morning, in the middle of the night, any time that is convenient for you. Your reason for wanting to start a business or your motivation might be to create your own environment. You can set the formality and culture of your own business. It might be because you want to create something from scratch and watch it grow. It might just be because you want to build a team and you are able to decide who to work with and who not to work with. A lot of people start a business because they want to help people. They want to use their services or products to help and to improve the lives of people. It might be because you want some spare time. However, when you start a business, you will have no time at first. You will have no time at first, but as time goes on, you will be able to employ people who you will be able to delegate things and tasks to. Your reasons and your motivation for starting a business might be because you want to become an expert. Is it because you want to become an expert? Make money. That's the bottom line for a lot of people. To be able to make more money. You, if you want a pay rise, you can give yourself one. Is it because of the tax benefits? You are able to write off, write off your biggest expenses. However, remember that you must pay yourself employment tax. Tax. Is it because you want to have a big office and work from anywhere? That might be your motivation. Or you want to gain entrepreneurial experience. That might be another motivation. Or because you want to invest in yourself. A lot of people, when they go to school, they ask them, why are you in school? Or why are you writing this project? One of the reasons will be to invest in oneself. You invest in yourself because when you start a business, you have a lot of experience and you gain and you grow from it. Is that your reason for wanting to start a business? Is it because you want financial independence? You want to be independent of anyone financially. Or is it because you want to create an asset? Get a mentor. When you start a business, it is important you have a mentor. Or become a mentor yourself. Because after um, years of experience, you will be able to mentor other people. You will be able to pass your experience to people is it because you want to have the option for multiple ventures um meaning that you can do one business and another business at the same time you can combine three businesses together and do them at the same time uh, is it because you want to build a personal brand is that your motivation? Is that your reason for wanting to start a business? Your reason for wanting to start a business must be clear to you. Your why. Your reasons. I can remember when we went for our property um, training. And um, we were being asked, your why? What's your reasons? Or what are your reasons? Why do you why? What's your why? And a lot of people 
talked about their family, leaving a legacy, doing it for their children to be able to be there. We wrap their time around their, their children, their family, to be able to have enough to provide for their children and leave behind. Is that your reason for wanting to start a business? All the reasons I have spoken about and have mentioned above can be class classified under family. Maybe it's because of your family, you want to be there, you want to be able to have time and wrap your, your time around them. It might be because of wealth, it might be because of power. You want to have power to be able to, you know, power <laughs> to say, yes, I'm in charge and feel good. Or you want fame. People who are in the entertainment business, they are famous. Or it might just be because you want to save the world, you want to serve. So all the reasons I have spoken about comes under this five. You must align your why to your ambition. What's your ambition? What's your ambition? Do you want to be um, a famous person? Is that your ambition? Then you must align your why. to your ambition. What is the reason? Why do you want to be in business? You must align your personal ambition with your why. It is much more likely you will fail if you don't align these together. So if you want fame, you might be best suited to be in the entertainment business so align your why with your ambition there's nothing stopping you what's really keeping you from having a business there's nothing stopping you of course there are risks and we will look at them the demotivators the ring a lot of people don't start businesses we will look at them now Number one, on top of all the reasons people don't take um, the, the courage to start in a business is lack of money, lack of funds. People complain of lack of money, lack of funds. This is one of the biggest concerns most entrepreneurs have and with good reasons. They don't have the savings, they just think or they have savings and they think, how long is this going to take me before money runs out? Starting a business requires a lot of money. You can say, okay, I'm going to start with 1,000 pounds. Pick something that you can do within that 1,000 pounds. However, before that 1,000 pounds runs out, you must have started to make money. Have that in mind. So, a lot of people need money, which most of the time comes from the entrepreneurial savings or the pockets of some investors around the entrepreneur. If you can't secure a reliable revenue stream by the time that initial money or capital runs out, then your business and yourself, you might become tense. You might become really, really tense. I can remember, for example, when we started our care agency business. Oh my goodness. He was really, really, really tense because we were we, we had to spend money. We borrowed money. We had to spend money before money started coming in. We had to go from home to home, from one um, care home to the other care home, you know, we had to build a website, we had to register with ICO, we had to employ staff, give them badges, give them uniforms, we had to rent an office, we had to do a lot of big things with money. And, you know, we didn't have money, so we knew that. 
by the second, third, fourth month, we, money must just start coming in. So with this motivation and the fear of failure, we were knocking on every home, care home in the city where we are. We were going from one place to the other. In one day, we could go to five care homes, knocking on their doors, you know, um, booking appointments to see their managers, calling them again when we come back to the office, calling them again and again to ask them, you know, do you need, do you we send you, do you know, want us to try us, please try us. We we're calling. We had to face our affair our fear. We are to face our fear because of the fear of failure. So lack of funds can be the number one. You have a little bit of funds, you don't want it to run out before money starts coming in. You become so tense when you have spent so much money and money is not coming in. There were times that we, I cried. I cried and said, oh God, help us, help us. And we were just doing everything we could do. We were just doing everything we could do. We made a lot of mistakes. We corrected the mistakes, but we started. So now, how do you overcome these demotivator of lack of funds? Number one, focus more on the advantages of using your own money. Use your own money as startup capital. I can remember then that one of the mistakes we made was that we signed up to a company, a debenture company, who um, would pay our staffs. And then we were working, they would pay our staffs, and when money, when we started making money, they would collect the money. We didn't start up with this debenture company until we started having orders and demand coming in for our staffs, our nurses, assistants, and um, support workers. And because we didn't have this money, we signed up um, to a company, you know, and they and then the, you know they were paying our staff for us, the venture company, but. We didn't see the profits. We were like, we were confused. We kept on working. We kept on working. You know, people, we were, we were supplying our clients. We were supplying so many clients. You know, because we, you know, after a while, after like nine months, we were supplying a lot of clients. And there was no money coming in. And I would look at the, the, the statement, I would look at the file in front of me. We supplied this, we supplied this, they said they were going to pay because I was keeping tab of the payment. People who said, oh, now at least we we're going to pay, we're going to pay, and you know, and then they were making payments to this company, but we were not seeing any money. And we regret the signing up to them. We regret the signing up to them. And then the wake up call came when. We now said enough is enough. We've spent so much money. No, no, this person has paid, that person has paid, this one has paid, that one has paid. Where is the money? Where is the profit? You know, when we now went to the bank and, you know, we now said to the bank, give us an overdraft. And the bank looked at what we have been doing, looked at our, our clients, looked and saw that there was um, potential for money to come in. But they, went, they didn't see anything in our account, you know, from a little money that came in. And they said that, who is paying? Do we have a debenture um, a company? And we said, yes. And they said, sorry, we cannot give you an overdraft. Because they have laid claim to your company. We give you money, they will take the money. So go and free yourselves from the debenture company and then come back to us, and then we will give you an overdraft. And then that was what we did. We, we, we immediately wrote to the venture company and said, stop, we don't want you anymore, you know, and then within two weeks, 
and um, they said do this do that go to the companies i'll do this and they issued us with um, and then it stopped and then we went back to the bank the bank you know automatically the bank will check companies out and see that the debenture company was not laying claim to our company anymore and then they now gave us an overdraft and it was from this overdraft that we started paying our staff and at the end of the month because we gave our clients 30 30 days um, credits so they, we supply them and they, they pay us after 30 days so at, at the end of every 30 days they pay us and then we pay the uh, overdraft back but you know they just pay into that same bank so the overdraft we just we always balanced off and there was profit we're not facing the profit so i'm not saying that you shouldn't sign up to a debenture company if you want to you can but i'm just giving you my our own experience so when you use your own money you make your own decisions there will be no interest <laughs> interest is another thing because you, you borrow 100 pounds before the end of the month, 20 pounds interest is on that 100 pounds plus the 100 pounds that you have borrowed. Unless you, you pay everything back, the interest will continue to grow. You have your own business, ownership of your business, 100% when you use your own money. You tend to put more effort into your new business for fear of losing your money that was what happened to us we for fear of losing our money we put a lot of effort into our business we went from one one care home to the other with all the things that we were we were supposed to um take with us our brochure everything um that we we're supposed to take with us um, some of our files we took we took it we took it we took it along so that our new our clients new clients can see what we are doing and see, see what we do we, we make sure all our staffs are compliant so you can use the venture companies to finance your salaries and costs however be careful you can get a loan from a bank, but this has its disadvantages. I will look into funding a business in another um, in another uh, um, uh, um, video where I will just look at business funding. So another reason. Um, for um, not wanting to go ahead to start a business is the feeling of not being good enough. What would people say? That feeling of inadequacy. Whether you're worried you aren't good enough as an entrepreneur or that your product isn't good enough to be competitive, the fear of not being good enough can be debilitating for new entrepreneurs it can be overwhelming am i good enough what will people say well you have to face it you have to face it i was speaking with someone who said to me that she started a business but she was not marketing that business because she was afraid of what people will say she was not going on social media she was not doing any marketing because she was afraid of what people would say but immediately she overcame the fear and started putting it out she was surprised people were really 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 supportive so you need to overcome this fear the fear of not being good enough you have to launch with a minimum product start where you are you don't have to be perfect to start you don't even have to put all the resources together and you don't have to your business does not have to be as perfect and as, as good as your competitor just start 
Because after you've started, you will start seeing where you can make improvements. But if you don't start, you will never know where to make improvements. No product or service ever starts out perfect. Some of the greatest businesses in the world started with a small one product and then they grew from there. You don't have to make all the right decisions. You don't need to be perfect at all. Start where you are. So that feeling of not being good enough can be overcome by you just starting where you are. You just facing your fear and starting where you are. Another reason um, for people not wanting to start a business that demotivates people from starting a business is the fear of failure. Everybody have got this fear that am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? And even and if I don't make it, what will people say? Am I going to how is it gonna be? There are small failures like getting to the office and maybe the, the light is not working or the computer is not working and it stops you from working throughout the day because you are calling in uh, an, a computer engineer to come and fix the computers or the printer is not working and you are trying and say, why is this printer not working or, just, or there's something wrong with the scanner. And there are big um, failures that can really affect your company, that can e e affect the money that comes into your company. That is, this is another um, reason for people not wanting to start a business. Yes, failure can set you back, but don't let the fear of failure stop you from making a decision. The only time you really fail is when you stop. I tell my children that the only time you really fail is when you stop. But if when you walk slowly and work towards what you want to achieve slowly, don't look at other people and then make yourself unhappy and oh other people are doing better than me no you don't know what they are going going through the only time you fail is when you finally stop so face your fear fear of failure and start when you stop you make sure you stop temporarily let it be temporal and then continue so you overcome this by seeing failure as an opportunity learn from everything every failure that comes your way every failure will yield a lesson you can incorporate into future businesses so don't stop confront your fear don't stop. Confront your fear. You might say, oh, I'm not doing this business anymore. I'm selling it. And then you start another one. You're still not stopping. Don't stop. Keep going. Overcome your fear. Another re um, risk or demotivator is the feeling of being overwhelmed when there are so many things that you have to do. The entrepreneur, entrepreneurial life is not an easy life. It's challenging. However, it's got its rewards. If you're getting into business and you think you want to get rich quick, someone has lied to you. You can't get into business because you want to get rich quick. There will be obstacles 
to overcome. There will be stress. It's hard work. How do you overcome this? Just do things at your own pace. Do things within your own power. Don't deal with too many financial problems at the same time. Hire an accountant. Get through things. If you have made mistakes, like we made some mistakes when we started, correct it. Make sure you speak to a professional. Don't do it yourself. Professionals are called professionals because they are really professional. They, they are good in their field. I am good in my field. My first um, degree in human resources, that's on, uh, you know, the, the undergraduate degree. Then my master's level in business management, my doctorate level in business management. So there are a lot of things I know in my field that I do not know in an engineering field. Everybody um, have got their own specialty and they are professionals. So seek professional help. Don't say, I know it all. I can do this, do that, do this, do that. Do this. No, you cannot do everything. Seek professional help. Four months ago, I signed up to an online training course because we want to start an online training school. I, I'm not saying uh, because I have been a lecturer or because I have knowledge in business, because I know the theory and how to teach it, because then I don't need someone to mentor me. No, I paid money. I sought out a mentor and I went there and I showed up and I did what I was supposed to do. When, when they give homework, I do my homework, I turn it in and they give me feedback and I take the feedback. So don't be overwhelmed, do things as you can. Do things according to what you can take how you can handle it. Don't take on so many things at the same time because you are in full control of your business. Remember that. You are in full control of your business so you can take it easy. Another demotivator that could stop you from starting a business is the fear of the unknown. The unknown. When you start a business, you don't know what is going to happen. Just like this year, there will be some people who would have started a business in January. And then in March, coronavirus started, COVID-19 started. And they will think, ah, why did I start this business? Why? And there's some other people who will want to start a business in January. There's no funds and they held back. And they're saying, oh, thank God I didn't start a business. So... When you're starting a business, even with a bit of money, your plan, a mentor, there will still be some uncertainty. It can be terrifying. However, start, you thinking of starting a business at all, you being in business, shows that you're a risk taker. It shows that you're passionate. It shows that you are hardworking and that you believe in your idea. When you have these four core qualities, then you are able to overcome a lot of obstacles that might get in your way. So, don't worry. Believe in yourself and keep going and you will surely overcome. So, your why, your motivation must be a good one. People don't start businesses because of one, just one reason. People have a combination of reasons. Combination of whys. The motivators that, you know, the reason 
of their reason of starting a business. So be aware that the aims may conflict with each other. For example, if you want a family business that you can pass on from generation to generation, you cannot think of making it so big because when you make it so big and you go public, it might mean that you don't have a lot of shares in the, in the company anymore. And it might mean that you will sell the company at the end. So, having a reason, your reason for starting a business must be strong and you must, it must be clear from the beginning. People who are wanting a family business carry their family along and don't go into certain things. People who don't want it to be a family business or just be a public business can take it public. So it is possible to create a successful business, but it will not be solely because you want to make money. That is not reality. So there, will, there must be a lot of motivators, a lot of things that you will look back when you are having a stress, when things are happening, issues are happening, and you look back and you see the reason why you started and you are encouraged. You pull yourself up and you keep going. Money must not be the only reason because you might not make money for a long time. You might not make money for a long time and you're thinking, when am I going to make money from this business? You're getting frustrated. When am I going to make money? If money is the only reason, then you will stop. But when you have your why, your reasons, reasons, not one reason, then you will keep going. Now, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn on the notifications bell and you get notified when we release new videos. Also, like our Facebook page, our Instagram page and sign up to our online school. Thank you.